Hello everyone, it's Carl here from Competition Auto. Today we have a 2007 GT500. And as you can see, it looks like it's been built up. This is a car that we did over a decade ago. It come back to us for a check over. The car is not running too well at all. So what we're going to start doing is uh, we pulled all the spark plugs out. In fact, they're right over here. So we can read all the spark plugs. We, didn't, we then did a compression check, which didn't turn out too shabby. These are the larger numbers. The smaller numbers here that you can see is the leak down test. That's what we're in the middle of right now. So we're going to go ahead and finish the leak down test on it. Okay, so what we have here is a camera we can look down in a cylinder so we can verify that all the valves are opening and closing properly. Um, and of course our leak down test. So let's show you how we do it. Okay, so we're going to move the coolant tank out of the way so we can get to the crankshaft bolt. I'm going to put a ratchet down here. We're going to get on that crankshaft bolt so we can spin the engine over. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do now is here's our camera. We're going to put this down a cylinder. Number one cylinder is our last one we got to do. So we're going to slide this all the way in there until we see the valves. Okay, I don't know if you can zoom in there, but there's our intake valves. They are both open, they're both equal, so we know the rock arms are in place and the valves are open. So we're going to turn the engine over until the valves close. And that lets us know after the intake valves are closed, we bring piston up, that's going to be top dead center, compression top dead center. So let's turn the engine. Can you see the valve still there? And of course, there's a manual car, so I have to make sure it's a neutral nut gear. Let me get this ready. Okay, so we're trying this. The valves are open. We're going to turn the crankshaft until the valves are closed. The valves are now closed. We're going to switch the camera over to look at the top of the piston. There's the top of the piston. And we're just going to turn it until we bring it up the top dead center, or most of the way to top dead center. And there it is. Now we will lock the car in gear, put the e brake on, and do our leak down test. Okay, we're going to remove the camera. We're going to install our hose for the leak down tester. Okay, here is our leak down tester. We're going to go ahead and connect it up. And this is the main gauge we're watching for. And that is somewhere around, you see here, that is somewhere around 12% 12, 12 leakage. Not bad at all. And that's our last one, so it'll leak down the test. We are moving on to the oil filter now. We're going to be cutting this baby open and checking it. And the oil is definitely black now, isn't it? So what we do here is we're going to open this up, look for any debris in here. Maybe get a light so we can do it as well. And then we're also on the bottom of here. It's very important. We're going to look at what's down in the bottom of the oil filter. So we'll go ahead and get a light and look at it. But from what I can tell, other than dirty oil, it looks pretty good. Okay, so we're going to put a light in here. don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but uh, we have a little bit of metallic. It is normal. Other than dirty oil, I'm going to say this one's normal. So no metallics. Definitely no barren material in here, in here or the actual filter when we spread it open. So once again, what I'm going to say is uh, performance guys, definitely do this on, if you can, every oil change lets you know what is normal. So when it does get bad, you'll see something's different. We do offer this with all of our oil changes. You just have to ask for it up front. And we'll put this all one right, So I decided since this is already opened up, we didn't see no metal in here when we spread it apart. But I figured I'd go ahead and show y'all. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut this, spread the paper out so we can look into it a little bit further.
it helps to use a little bit sharp rubber knife you got. Okay, so now we just have a small section of it cut out. Of course, you can cut the whole thing out if you like. Um, you can even go put it in a vise and squeeze all the oil out of these things so it's a little bit easier to read. And as you can see, as you can squeeze, the oil is just going to come out. If you wanted to do that, that way when you spread it open, you can see more of just the material. And this is actually what you want to see. No, no metal... No foreign objects at all. If there was barren material, you would definitely see it sparkly in each one of these grooves. And that's it. Alright, so now we're just going to simply put it back in the old box. Just the way it came apart. That way if the customer wants to see it themselves, we can show it to them. Okay, we now have the fuel filter off the car, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. And uh, replace the element inside it. Not the worst that I've seen, but it's definitely dirty. So we'll go ahead and uh, open up the new one, get the new one put in there. There's an O-ring in here. You can put a little bit of uh, fuel or Vaseline, whatever you want, to uh, get it to seal, slide on easier. That's all there is to it. Okay, we have it all back together. It's back up and running. It is still a little rough. Um, we just did an injector scope. All, all eight injectors are firing. Now, I believe the customer said that this thing was set in a while too. So we drained the fuel out of it, put some more fuel in it. More it warms up. Seems like it's getting better. Um, but the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a uh, combustion leak uh, test on it. So what that is, is head gasket leakage. Um, the compression test turned out good. Leak down test turned out good. But with these multi layer steel head gaskets, sometimes they will only leak back into the coolant. So we just started up getting the operating temperature, um, give it a couple of revs, put a little bit of pressure on it, and we'll come out here and check this. So let's go ahead and uh, get this ready. We just simply fill this up to the first line. And once we fire this thing up, we will put this on the reservoir tank and suck the uh, gases through here. If it changes colors, normally green, then we have a leaking head gasket. Okay, so the fluid color did not change, therefore the head gasket most likely is good. The only other thing we can do is drive it, put it under more of a load, or back on a dyno, we can check it again, but so far, looks good.